Hello, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us in this tips and tricks video. So, folks, before we get started, I want to invite you over to our pixelprodisplay.com website. Sign up for a free membership. There's more awesome content. We do a ton of videos to help you get started with X-Lights. And also, we have an amazing sequence club where you get an amazing sequence each and every month. And you also get a number of preset effects. You also save money through our affiliates program that will help you save a ton of money on your holiday budget when you're building and designing and setting up your brand new display. So with that being said, folks, I want to introduce you to an awesome addition that has just been downloaded from the x -Lite's website at Thursday morning, February 21st, 2019 at 1.23 in the morning. The brand new, amazing, um, butterfly effect. Well, we're going to pull the butterfly effect in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some timing marks down like I like to do. Let's do this real quick. Oops. Huh. Why did that do that? There we go. Okay. So let's get started. So here is the butterfly effect. We're going to lay that down and I want to share with you a brand new effect. This is called kaleidoscope. And let's just go ahead and throw the kaleidoscope right on top. And we have a couple of awesome additions. One of the things that we need to do is we need to make sure that uh, the kaleidoscope has, let's see, um, the canvas mode selected. You have to have canvas mode uh, set to work. Uh, the kaleidoscope effect works very much like the warp effect does. Uh, it is a mask that sits on top of the effect. And we're going to go through a couple... Um, interesting ways that you can render the kaleidoscope. We, in this drop down over here, we have the triangle and we have the square. Uh, we'll leave it at the triangle for right now. Uh, we have an XY coordinate, so it will center. And then we have a size, a large size and a small size and a rotation that you can add to the spinning or turning that you're used to. So uh, what I'm going to do is we'll just start with the size. Let's go and we'll, we'll use the slider and we'll turn them a couple of notches up and you can see the preview here um, <clears throat> so when you have an effect a full effect like the butterfly effect every pixels on and right now it's rendering triangles at the 50 by 50 mark so it's going to the 50 by 50 in the center of the matrix and we're just doing a layered effect right here with sliding the slider so we have more triangles here bigger or bigger triangles that is and then smaller triangles down here so that's where you have less definition um, another thing I'd like to do is I, I would like to go and change this style to um, let's turn off canvas mode for a minute I want to get this I want to get this looking good here let's change the style to this one here and I want to switch my palette to black and white and I want to add one color in there. I think that's what we want to do. Yes. So I want to show you this with the canvas effect in place. Now, this doesn't look like much here whenever it's real small size, but the larger size or the more, uh, the larger size of triangles, you get a little bit of a different action there. This effect, this uh, uh, kaleidoscope is absolutely interesting because it takes every single effect and it will totally make them completely different than what you have ever been used to in x -Lite. So um, we have the triangle and we have rotation. Let's go ahead and rotate it. So if we slide the slider on the rotation, we have this totally different look. We can go a little bit further and now we have something else. But what I think really is the uh, value here is the value curve. And if we just use a simple ramp, we click OK. Now you get to see what a kaleidoscope actually looks like. And that is a pretty cool way to reinvent uh, one of the most popular effects in x -Lite, something certainly that's very defining to the software. Um, let's go ahead and lay down another effect. Uh, he he did in his demo. Now we haven't, one thing I guess before I move on, I want to go ahead and drop this down to, uh, from the uh, triangle down to the square so that you have a, an idea of the difference that it looks like. And I think if we move the squares down, we'll have a little bit different, uh, different orientation. The other thing I, I'm curious about is what if we put another warp effect in here? Let's get rid of that. 
Uh, what if we put another warp effect, I'm um, sorry, kaleidoscope effect on top of the kaleidoscope? And this would be, let's, let's flip this. So, so now you have a dual layer effect. I am assuming we could go with some layer blending here and make this an average. And that is something that's pretty amazingly wild. Uh, there is a whole lot to play with here. Let's go ahead and lay down a pinwheel effect. This is one that he has, has used to, um, uh, to uh, demonstrate this. And you can see if we go, we have the triangle selected here. Let's make the triangles a little bit higher. And you can see that's a pretty interesting effect with how it's refracting the pinwheel, the standard pinwheel. That's the base, the base pinwheel, and then you add in this, and that's that's pretty, pretty incredible, pretty interesting. Um, obviously, you can use a different layer effect here. We can actually make it go counterclockwise. So now you have a dual layer effect on top of with well, and you can also change the color. So if we did this, so now you have something really, really different, something really, really neat. If we go in here and we make the size uh, slightly variable from up to down. So now the value curve is making the size of these triangles into different sizes. And then if we come in here and we start grabbing another, let's put a second one of these right on top. So it's doing the same thing if we change this and let's reverse this. And now you have a rotation which you could have done that with the other one, I suppose, but we could put squares on this one and we can make this average so it shows through. So the, 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 the uh, sky is the limit with the kaleidoscope effect. And um, we could just, just doing something simple with the single strand effect, um, if we drop the single strand effect on here and we copy this, and we paste this. And we don't want to average that. Let's just make it normal. So what we have to do is let's add a couple more chases to this. And if we go back to the kaleidoscope, we can, let's try moving the center. You can see how the center's changed. And if we move the X, so now we're, we're kind of at a different vertex. So we're over on this side is, is the center for the X actually down here. And then the Y is all the way up here somewhere. So it, it, you could, you have, you have so much customization that you can have happen that it's really, really interesting the way that the kaleidoscope can take the effect and refract the exact same thing into, well, basically that's what a kaleidoscope is, is it takes things, it's a mirror, and it mirrors things off of one thing to another, and it bends the current effect and really creates something very unique. So if you had a boring effect, uh, like lightning, for example, pretty boring if, it, if it's not uh, anything special, but now you can take this and really give it a go and start really playing with... Um, some of the uh, functions here and really make it something that's way more way more interesting we can change the width of the bolt to real wide and I'm, I'm failing really bad here I don't know what I here let's change that let's go back to the center and let's center it there we go that's why so we have to fix the XY because it was refracting over here but the bolt was in the middle so you're always learning something whenever you come to a PPD video and check out the really cool stuff. Folks, we're going to do a really, 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 really deep dive into this effect coming up this Saturday, which is um, the 23rd, Saturday, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 30, the Thursday, Saturday the 23rd. Join us at the PPD webinar coming right up. So folks, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done yet so, please hit the big red subscribe button down below. Make sure you click like if you like this video. Share it with other people if you loved it. And as always, we have some awesome things here at Pixel Pro Displays for you. Please come and check us out. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Down
through the chimney with old Sam. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And don't...